Hi guys, hi everyone, thank you for joining Elizabeth again today. I'm so happy to see you guys. I hope you guys have been good. I hope you've been staying at home, eating, resting, exercising. Please don't forget to exercise. This period is very tempting. You we'll just keep eating, sleeping and not exercising. We we'll just keep adding weight. But we're trusting God that soon it will be over. And everything will go back to the way it was or even better. So how have you guys been? I've missed you guys. So tell me how have you been? guys i just wanted to gist with you i've been i've been thinking and i just wanted to tell you guys that i think i'm pregnant i'm pregnant again and it's like i can't help myself it's like fire in my bones yeah i'm joking guys but seriously everyone is pregnant and i want us to take this season this period that the world is going through i want us to take it as a sign that god is saying something again to us the truth of the matter is we are all pregnant with something everyone is carrying an idea a vision a purpose a business a ministry that god has put in us and expects us to manifest it and to walk in line of what he wants us to do. But it's so unfortunate that so many of us are not running with the vision, with the idea, with that purpose that God has put in us. Rather, we are chasing so many things that are different things are distracting different different people at every time. And you know, I just thought of the scenario of a pregnant woman, a woman who is pregnant. From, from the time of conception to the time of delivery, a pregnant woman knows that there's something that is different about her body. There is something that is that seems strange that is going on in her body. And until that woman brings forth, she can't have a normal body. And the same way, and the same thing, rather, goes with the vision, the idea, the purpose that God has for each and every one of us. And until we, until we fulfill that purpose, until we bring forth that vision, that idea, that ministry, that dream, you are still going to be you are still going to be pregnant and you will be uncomfortable until you bring forth. You know, I was watching a program yesterday and the, the speaker was saying at every global pandemic that goes on, in the, goes on in the world, every pandemic that the world has experienced, especially yeah, that, the, that Nigeria has experienced, has experienced, was talking specifically around Nigeria, there was there was um there was a like a global manifestation and like a global change there was just a change a positive change especially among the children of god globally after every pandemic and i feel as he was talking the holy spirit was just telling me that People are pregnant, but people are not even nourishing that pregnancy, that baby they are carrying. What are you pregnant of? What are you pregnant with, rather? And how are you nourishing that pregnancy? You know, jokingly, I was asking my husband, what are you pregnant with? And he was just saying, I'm pregnant with hope. And I asked him, how are you nourishing that pregnancy? And he said, with the word of God. But it's unfortunate that so many of us do not even take time to nourish that vision, that idea, that purpose, that business, that ministry that God has put 
inside of us. And until, until you start nourishing, until you start looking for ways to develop yourself, you cannot live a normal and fulfilled life. That's the truth. Until you bring forth what is inside of you, you will just be living in the shadow of yourself. And you know, so many years ago, some people had issues with technology and internet and they were like, um, all this Facebook, all these things. But somebody had that idea. And look at where we are right now. So many things are being done with the internet. Thank God for internet. We can do our services online. Thank God for internet. We can work from home. Thank God for internet. We can talk to our people, our families. 1,000 miles away from you. You can talk to your family just because of an idea that someone thought of and was able to nourish and birth. The world is actually waiting for that thing you are carrying. Don't give up on yourself. There is still hope. Yes, you may have tried it so many times and it's failing. That's the stage of waiting. Every pregnant woman knows you are going to be pregnant for nine months. You have to wait. You can't just conceive today and expect the baby tomorrow. No, it doesn't work that way. There are things that must be done. There are sacrifices you must, you must do before you can bring forth that which the Lord has deposited into you. Yes, failures are just ways to make you go higher, move you, move you to the next phase. They are not just roadblocks. They are not just to stop you. Don't let that failure, that yes, that, that no you've gotten so many times, don't let it stop you from moving forward with that dream that God has put in, in you. One thing I've noticed, especially among the young ones, among we young ones, I'm also young, I'm not old, among we young ones is that we are not focused. We, we we are so interested in making money that we forget that a life that is impactful is as good as even all of the riches and is even better, not even as good. It's better than all the riches you can acquire in life. If you don't live a life of purpose, of impact, impact, what's what are you doing so that idea, that vision, that business, that ministry that God has put in your heart? Have you just abandoned it because you feel it's not going to bring money, it's not going to make you rich? Everything is not about money. You know, so many people with this pandemic have lost their jobs. And if you look around... I, I'm in the car, but I don't. I would have loved to show you the cars parked on the street. So many cars have just been the same way for weeks because money is not everything. Money is not everything. A life of purpose, a life that is a life that is changing lives. That's what that's what you should chase. Not just money. Money is good. Don't get me wrong. It's the love of it that is the root of all evil love of it that you can do anything just to get money regardless of how you get that money but like i was saying about technology if you think if you think technology hasn't come to stay you must be you must be you, you must be a joker that's just the, that's just that's what i can say but so many things have changed since technology, internet has happened to us. And I want us to, to seize this opportunity of being at home, to really seek the face of God and ask God, what exactly is my purpose? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to achieve from this? You know, that idea that you've been nursing for the past five years may actually be what the world is waiting for. You know, I really cannot imagine 
if somebody comes up with the cure for this virus that 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 life is impact as will impact so many lives what are you carrying what are you pregnant with you need to bring forth that child you need to bring forth that idea that business that ministry don't give up on yourself yes things may not be going the way you desire the way you plan but it's not over just trust god stay focused stay positive develop yourself get skills get 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 ideas from people talk to people that can help you talk to people that are well they are vast in knowledge of what you feel God is leading you to do. Have mentors, people you can talk to that can lead you and lead you aright. Not just people that would kill that dream, but people that will help you nourish that dream. You need to nourish it for it to survive. It's just like a baby. That pregnancy, if you, you have, there are some vitamins you need to take. And if you are not taking it, that baby may not even survive. That baby may, may die of so many things. The same thing, the baby may not live. The same thing goes with the dream, the vision, the purpose. That business, that ministry that God has put in your heart. Please, let us arise. We are the light of the world. Let us arise. It's time for us to take what the Lord has put in our hearts and run with it. I just, I was studying and reading about Paul. Saul that changed to Paul, that God converted and his name was changed to Paul. You know, he, he, he did everything with the passion that, that God, that he had for, for the gospel. He was so passionate. And he was running with that, that passion. The same way you should run with that passion, that dream, that idea. And the success you will record is even greater than money. Yes, money will come. But even if money does not come, still fulfill that purpose that God wants you to fulfill. What will you say when you get to heaven? It's a time to arise. It's a time to stand. It's a time to, to be focused. It's a time to seek the face of God. God, what exactly do you want me to do with this idea? What exactly, how do you want me to run with it? And don't forget, the period of waiting does not mean God is not involved. The period of waiting does not mean God has abandoned you. The period of waiting does not mean you would not fulfill that purpose. The period of waiting may just be a period to equip you, to make you stand, to give you that stamina that you need. I'm trusting that by the time this pandemic is over, there will be so much delivery. So much that the world we know there is a change. A change has happened. And I hope you will not be left out. The world is waiting for that idea. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay healthy. I love you guys. Have a lovely day.